Gary's been sharing with us some of the debt traps and that we can truly be out of debt in five to seven years or less, including our mortgage. We did it personally. We've shown thousands of people to do it, tens of thousands yep. actually. <laughs> Gary, can you show us how is it possible to do this? Yes. You know what we're going to do, Dorinda? We're going to do, as I said earlier, just reverse what the lenders are looking for. They're looking for those small payments every month coming in because people continually use their credit cards. They never really pay them off. And that's how they make their money. Well, if we just change that, let's find money, those fragments, and we'll find some amazing things. So let's look at this presentation that we've put together. Let's assume that, and this, by the way, this name is made up. So if your name matches this, that's an amazing coincidence, but it's not you. <laughs> so just relax. Jim and Kathy Ratliff, let's say, income $4,000 some dollars a month, and they're spending how much? The same as they're making. That's how people live, right? I mean, paycheck to paycheck with nothing left over, no surplus, no deficit. What would you say, or what would they say if I was you know, showing them this data? And I said to them, based on your current budget, you could be out of debt in five to seven years, including your mortgage. What would they say? Uh, probably not. <laughs> no, 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 no way. The guy can't add, right? right. No way. They can't add because he can't add. That doesn't make any sense. Let's go to the next slide. Uh, well, here's uh, what we do. We find money. So what we did with Jim and Kathy is we began to look in every area of their, of their data. We gathered some data and we began to look for money. I'm not going to cover all these, but obviously there's some simple ones on here to see, you know, like refinancing, lower your interest rates. Uh, we consolidated some high interest rate debt for low rates, tax changes. We had a, a tax review. We canceled credit life, found a free checking account. Um, you can go on, reduce internet cafe, uh, excuse me, not cafe, cable, I'm sorry. Uh, remove PMI insurance. There's a whole list of things we did for this couple, and we found how much? $1,700. $1,700 wow. a month? Is that really what it says? Right. We found $1,700 a month in their budget that was maxed and nothing in it. Yeah, and yet people would look at those little numbers and go, oh, that's not going to make a big deal yep. difference. All those little numbers add up. Right. They? They're all fragments. Okay. I always say we're in the fragment business. All right. Mm. So the fragments are the key. Remember when Jesus fed the 5,000? He told the disciples, go gather the fragments, fragments. lest everything, you know, something be lest lost. Anything be lost. Yeah, yes, so he went, they gathered them, and they had 12 baskets left over, which was more than they started with. Mm. So the fragments are important if we understand fragments. So what we do is we take the money we found now in the budget, $1,700. We're going to now begin to apply that to the debt payments. Let's move on. So, oh, let me mention this fact. I wanted to mention this. Uh, let's assume that our client was a business owner as well. So we did the same thing for his business and found almost $5,000 a month through our, uh, a business audit of finding money. So he's real happy about now. He's found, sure. you know, some good money. Let's move on. So back to the personal side, not the business side. Uh, one thing we want to do is first develop a cash reserve. You've got to have a cash reserve. Uh, developed completely from the money we found, the $1,700, we're going to put that $3,000 in place first, the first thing we're going to do. Okay, next slide. Then we began to, what we call asset management, we began to add that $1,700 to the monthly payments. And as one debt is paid off, we take that $1,700 plus the debt we were paying that we paid off and apply it to the next. So it's like a big snowball. We pay one debt off, we don't put that money back in our spending budget. We just keep applying it to debt. It just right. keeps Attack rolling downhill. Let's go to the next one. And so we found that this guy paid his mortgage off, all of his consumer debt, completely out of debt in 6.2 years. That was, like I think, two car payments, like five or six credit card payments, a mortgage, and everything in 6.2 years. So he's pretty happy. He saved uh, on all of this. He saved about $132,000 of interest wow. that he would have spent given to the lender. So here's the recovery. We found 1700 He's out of debt in 6.2 years, but now remember he also owns a business. So if we add what we saved in business to, the, to this personal residential income side, we have a total of 6500 What would happen if we applied all of that to his wow. debt? He's out of debt in 2.2 years. Wow. On his current income during and now this is a this is a family that was living paycheck to paycheck, paycheck to paycheck in their business and in their personal life, yes. and now they're out of debt in two point two years. Two point two years. Then they start saving all that money. That's right. Which Let's is move exactly on. what we yes. did. Let's go on. 
You mentioned investing. Now, if they just take the money that they had been spending and begin to save it, uh, this is just the residential side again, we're going to find in a short period of time, in uh, 19 years, almost $3 million saved wow. at 9%. At 9%, which is yeah. very doable. Or 5% over a million dollars. That's very wow. doable. Very. And the point we're making is, is that this is simply money that you or people you know are spending but we simply, as a fragment, identified the fragment, moved it back in their cash flow, got them out of debt, and then they stopped giving their money away, and they began to save it for themselves. And this was an average family. Average family. On an average income yes. that became millionaires with the same income they were already making of because course. of stopping the debt thing. Yeah, of course. You saw what it does for the banks. Yeah. That's why they want your money. Let's Pretty move amazing. on to the next slide. So by following a plan to be debt-free, obviously we can follow God's direction for our life. We're not slaves. We have options. Right. We can provide well for our family. We can support the gospel or God's kingdom in the earth, and we can help those in need. Let's move on to the last slide. Now, obviously, we talk about retirement planning because when you start to, when you're out of debt, then your whole agenda begins to change. Where can I save money at that's safe? And so what we've done through the years, we've developed a plan to get out of debt but then we had to put right alongside it a plan to save money that was safe. And so we had, over the last decade, we've had two severe drops in the markets where we saw 50 to, 7, 50 to 70 percent of a client's portfolio fall. And uh, I don't know, I think that that could happen again. The economic situation globally is you know, somewhat unstable and will continue to do so, especially as our government too. keeps printing and yes. borrowing money at a, at a very fast rate. So these kinds of swings in the markets make the markets a very dangerous place to put retirement money. When you're over 50, you have okay. saved money your whole life. So we help people understand safe places to invest as well. Uh, we're not going to cover it in this program, but if you have, you know, want that information, we certainly can get that to you. But the bottom line, Drend, is this, that what we saw today is why those, why these come in the mail every day. We then discovered we could change that and reverse that. We can take the same strategy they used to take that us. $5, that $10, that $40 a month, reverse that back to us by finding the fragments, identifying the fragments, find that money and putting it back in our budget where we can accelerate our debt payments, save money, have a cash reserve, begin to pay cash for the things we need in life. And that's freedom. It is. Not only can you be out of debt, you can actually accumulate great wealth and do great Absolutely. things for God's kingdom and your family and leave a legacy in your finances. Absolutely. Absolutely.